What's going on guys? In this video I'm going to be talking about the GPS trackers. Specifically smaller ones that you'd want to put on like a motorcycle or something that can be concealed very easily. As some of you know if you watch my videos I picked up this Suron a couple weeks ago. Now in the beginning I was super sketched out thinking that it was going to get stolen. So I went out on Amazon I got a disc lock which is right here. You can check out my other video um, for information on this. But I wanted to get that extra layer of security. Something where if it did happen to get stolen, despite having that disc lock, you know, I would be able to know where it is and get the police involved. So I got this one right here from Invoxia. I've used other trackers in the past. Let's show you on my KP Mini. We've got the Logistimatics uh, Mobile 200. Now this one is, is magnetic. You can put this one pretty much anywhere there's a metal surface. This is ideally good for sticking under a car. In the situation with the KP Mini, it just happens to fit perfectly under the seat, so that's where it goes. With this one, there's no magnets or anything on it, so I stuck a piece of Velcro on it, and I hit it somewhere on the bike that you know it can't be seen. So. Which one do I prefer? Definitely the Logistimatics. I'll tell you why. With the Logistimatics, the monthly fee is, I think it went up to $24.95, but what I'm paying right now is $14.95. You may still be able to get that price. You may have to prepay for six months or so, but I know their, their plans are as low as $14.95 because that's what I pay. Granted, on the Invoxia, you do get a year included. But, at, you know, you're paying $140 right out of the gate. So you're kind of, you know, paying for that year. With the Logistimatics, this device is around $30, $40. Uh, it might actually be $45 if you go to Logistimatics.com. You can get it a little bit cheaper if you go to Amazon. Some pros and cons about these. We'll start with the Invoxia. Honestly, I don't like the Invoxia because the update frequency, it gives you three options. I believe the first one is five to seven minutes you can have the location update but the battery life lasts i think it said three days to maybe a week the second option is 10 to every 10 to 12 minutes and the battery is going to last about two to three weeks and then the third option is every 30 to 32 minutes and the battery lasts up to seven weeks now on their the box if you can read right there, it says lasts up to four months per charge. Cross that out because you're, if, you're, if you have an actual tracker that you have on a bike, it's not going to last four months unless the thing is in standby mode and it's not moving at all. As soon as the tracker starts to you know, uh, send and receive satellite information, the battery is definitely going to go down. There's no way you're going to get four months out of this tracker. So in Voxia... False advertisement, you should change that. <clears throat> With the Logistimatics, this thing, once it's charged up, this will last about three weeks with reporting every 30 seconds. This is an amazing tracker, spot on. You can stick it anywhere. The Like I said, the, uh, it updates every 30 seconds. It's uh, worldwide, like it, it goes off satellite, so you can have this anywhere and on the app the logistimatics app you'll be able to see exactly where this is like i said this is around 40 45 bucks this was three four times the price and i don't like it honestly so if you're gonna get a gps tracker go with logistimatics there's other styles that you can get you can get if you have a car you can get the obd style the obd2 style plug that plugs right up into the obd port and nobody, you know, it, nobody's going to know it's there unless they're actually getting under the steering wheel and looking. I definitely have tried pretty much every GPS tracker that's out there. Um, if you go on Amazon, there's Spy Tech, Garmin makes one. They've got uh, a whole bunch of GPS trackers, but essentially they're all the same thing. It's just, you know, you have to look at the frequency of how often it updates. That's the main thing. 
because you could have a, um, a tracker that, like, just like this in box, see a box says, battery lasts up to four months. Okay, that's with no activity whatsoever, nothing. So if you, like I said, if you put the, the tracker on a device that's actually going to be moving, you're going to get approximately two or three weeks. I'm very happy with it, you know, just have to plug it in every couple of weeks. That's not bad. It takes a few hours to charge. So I'm confident that if somebody steals my bike, I'm going to know where it is. You can use these trackers for anything, asset management. If you have a spouse that, you know, you want to check up on anything you guys can ask me questions i'll answer it because i have done extensive research on these gps trackers i can pretty much answer anything for you and if i can't i will find the answer for you so if you're in if you have any doubts or questions about gps trackers definitely leave a comment smash that like button i will do my best to help all you guys out thanks subscribe take care